Okay, here's uh, another talk about the media. But unfortunately, it's part of the media we're all involved in, which is the so-called alternative media. And I was checking out uh, Christopher Green's video, The Executive, Obama's Real Reason He Wants Your Guns, full documentary. And it's, uh, it's an hour and seven minutes. An hour and seven minutes of fluff, which quotes propaganda that we've been spoon-fed since the 40s. And the question that he, that he asks is, what is Obama's real reason for wanting your guns? He barely touches on that. He should have started with that and kind of kept on, kept on that because... He hardly, hardly even counts as an answer what, what he came up with, <laughs> which I'll tell you right now, so you don't have to watch the video, but you can. His theory is that Obama himself, the person, Obama, wants to consolidate his political power. And then from that, he's implying, uh, from the rest of his, his video, that he's implying that Obama wants to be a Hitler Obama himself, the person, that's his agenda. That's what he's saying. So, and uh, why I'm bringing this up as media is that this video got 75,000 views in two weeks. And if you go and read the comments, it, it's left right. The, the people in there are, let, are co commenting about left right stuff. You know, Obama's this and Obama's that. And they're totally missing it. And here's this guy, Chris Green, projecting himself to be telling you the truth about things. And he hasn't got past the left-right paradigm yet. <laughs> uh, and he's got a radio show and everything. So, it's just, what do they call that when they, you set up your own opposition? It's controlled opposition. He's like the controlled opposition, you know. They set, somebody set this guy up to spout uh, seeming truth uh, mixed with a lot of propaganda. And some of the propaganda is, you know, the 9-11 was done by Al-Qaeda, by real terrorists. And he believes, I guess he believes Al-Qaeda is real, a real thing. And so he knows the truth. That's not the truth. And, you know, he believes... Islamic terrorists uh, <clears throat> with box cutters hijacked a plane and I mean that's just so ridiculous <laughs> if if I was on a plane and you were on a plane uh, and some ass white jumps up with a box cutter and starts heading for the <laughs> cockpit is <laughs> this gonna be a pile of meat in five minutes okay but so here's my point not only do we have the media spouting lies, the regular media, and we've got these guys, and there's others, and I don't, you know, I haven't even gone through. I try not to watch them. I was subbed to this guy for like a week, and I was like, this is just, this, he hasn't even gotten past the basics, and he's telling people what the truth is? That's ridiculous. Okay, so the other propaganda was the six million number killed in the Holocaust, from what I've seen, that is uh, an idealized number. It's kind of a magical number and made up out of thin air to uh, you know, uh, create the state of Israel. And that's what that was about. Uh, the Russians who supposedly came up with that number uh, since had revised it down to 4 million and then revised down again to, I think, 1.5 million. And that may include all people in concentration camps, not just Jews. <clears throat> but I don't know that last number for sure. But at least six million is definitely not a real number. Okay, and then the other thing he mentions in this, this, this video just takes forever and it's so pointless. He could have just got to the question. But the other one was, he's talking about the shootings. Now we're getting to the guns. He's talking about the shootings and speaking about them as if what the media has said about them is fact. The official story is fact. 
you know, Adam Lanza is a deranged killer, you know, and to be speaking about what the media has said and just parroting it, uh, to me means you're not, you're not, you're not really interested in the truth because I know that they're lying. I literally don't know and probably will never know if Adam Lanza was even at the scene of that shooting, you know, and had shot anybody. You don't know, and I don't know, and we're never going to know. I didn't see anything, any evidence. There's nothing to see. And so then he's talking about, well, the, all, the, all of these shooters, and he mentions them all, you know, basically, uh, the Aurora thing and everybody, and how they're on drugs, and these uh, SSRIs are really dangerous and stuff, and that's the real problem, and uh, well, we don't even know uh, that these SSRIs, these these drugs, uh, had an, uh, had any effect on the crime, on the shootings. Like uh, the one in Aurora, the guy was found slumped in his car out behind the theater. He could have been planted there, doped up on drugs. Yeah, he was on drugs. <laughs> That's we don't know if he even did anything. Somebody could have just put him there. There you go. He's a shooter, whatever. So we're not going to know, but to speak about these things as if as if the official story is for sure true, that's a kind of a red red flare in my mind that this guy is. And he's not really not really about the truth and uh, the idea that Obama himself got the idea to be a Hitler, uh, yeah, that just means you don't know about the left-right paradigm that they've set up, or you either don't know or do know and are lying about it, <laughs> so either way, that's bad. Within four years, he'll be gone, so are you saying that he's going to want a third term? Are you saying he's engineering... Barack Obama, the actor, as I see it, is engineering all this so he can have a third term or become, uh, you know, a Hitler perpetual dictator. Really? You really think he's doing that? <laughs> he doesn't have to do anything to consolidate his power. He's going to be out of there in four years. That's the deal. You know, power schmauer. If it was... Romney in there, he would be pushing the same gun control, and, you know, it doesn't matter who's in there, but if you think it matters who's in there, then you've either been duped, or you're one of the people who are doing the duping. So, which are you, Chris Green? <laughs>